Hello and welcome back to Pillars of Eternity. I wonder if we can make it to Cape Noah in 22 hours. If not, then we are screwed you regarding this party before venturing forth. morning. Uh, 2030. Yeah. I will try it. I don't think we can. I mean, we still have to visit Cape Noah. And this is our only. Walls need some work before this place is secure. My husband could fix them right up. Oh. Well, that would be very useful. Oh, I see. This is fixed now. You can honestly see what's being done. What do you mean no companions at the stronghold? We are literally here, okay. First things first, I want to make sure that we are as secure as possible. So, let's see. We could do. The South Carton Wall provides further protection to the Bailey from invaders coming from the south. Or days. Yes. I bear a message from the Ducal Palace. Greetings, my lady. I bear an urgent message from Chancellor Varian of the Finest Bay. He requests that you meet with him at your earliest convenience in the Ducal Palace. Your claim on Kate Noah has been called into question by the Gathbain family. Earl Bedemar has issued a ruling on the matter, but both you and Lord Gathbain must be present. And who's Chancellor Warren? He is an arbiter of legal matters for Earl Bedemar of the Garth. Tell me about this Lord Gathbain. An old Adrian lineage, I believe. He looks around the Great Hall. The former lord of the stronghold, a distant relative of Lord Gathbain, allied himself with the laws inside during the War of Defiance. Kaed Noah is mine. The Gathbin family disagrees, as your claim is not based on lineage, an official ruling is required to remedy this dispute. I'll go meet him then. The Chancellor will await you in the records room of the Ducal Palace in First Fires. He... First... Fires... Where? Um, records room. Okay, records... Room... Ducal Palace. Okay. Thank you. Is that it? No, I don't believe that's it. My lady, you've received a letter. Delivered with some urgency, as it happens. I thought the messenger might swoon, poor dear. It's from Stalwart. Apparently the mayor, Renengild, has heard of your success here at Cadnua and hopes you can be of aid to her people as well. What does Renengild want? Stalwart is a mining community, and at one time they enjoyed a great deal of influence. Renengild hopes to reclaim old glories, I expect. It seems she's intent on gaining access to Durgan's battery. And she's offering quite the reward to anyone who can get inside. A reward, she says, for getting into the battery. <laughs> That's a reward of its own, surely. What is Durgan's battery? The dwarves of the battery fashioned Durgan steel, and with it they crafted the finest arms and armor the Deerwood has ever known. But the keep has been abandoned for centuries, and none remain that know their secrets. There are many legends concerning the battery. As the Earl told it, the dwarves fought amongst themselves, each seeking to use the battery to further his or her own ambitions. Greed and cruelty brought down the battery, and now the spirits of those same dwarves roam the halls. Whatever happened, the battery has been impenetrable ever since. A shame. I don't doubt that there are great treasures still within those halls. Hmm. Perhaps I'll pay Stalwart a visit. 
Oh, just think! The greatest of the Dwarven strongholds! Ours to explore! I should mention that among those rumored to have answered Renningild's summons is a certain group I believe you may have an interest in. Followers of Woodica intent on reaching Starwart and the Battery. I do not know what they seek there, but I thought it worth mentioning, given your interest in the ruins at Defiance Bay. Now that I've delivered Renningild's message, there is also a local matter of some concern, my lady. A mercenary band has been sighted to the northeast. I believe they mean to take Consul Hot's tower, and I don't expect the Archmage will go quietly. Consul Hot's one of the greatest wizards of our generation! Our fidgets and flutters, fleeting between anxiety and excitement, he appears to be at a loss for words. The Torn Bannermen are a deadly fighting force, and Consul Hot himself has sent many travelers to their graves. I would caution you to stay clear of the region if you do travel to the White March. It's not that I doubt your courage, my lady, but Consul Hot alone boasts power of a different scale altogether to those foes you have faced thus far. Given more time, perhaps you will match him. If the Bannermen succeed in their efforts, I fear they may turn their attention to Cad Nua. I will keep you apprised of the situation, my lady. Who is Consul Hot? A feigned Archmage. I am given to understand that the Brackenberry Sanitarium puts much stock in his work, as regards the manipulation of the soul. His spells are widely circulated. But he is poorly regarded in many circles. Some call him a madman, or else cruel and barbarous. He must be very old by now. Perhaps that is why the Torn Bannermen believe they can best him. Do you know anything else about these mercenaries? Little enough, I'm afraid. The Torn Bannermen are well supplied and well organized, and there are rumors that they are backed by an unknown benefactor. They have proved remarkably effective in the past, and they are certainly a threat now. Farewell then. Safe travels, my lady. But we still did not do this. I don't understand this one. Expires in one minute. We are all at the stronghold. Farewell. Now? Okay. Hmm. Well, I mean, we've been dealing with the. We're gonna rest at our own keep this time. Remaining two turns, okay. I have no idea how long two turns is. But now we have a fair amount of things to do. Mm. I feel sorry for whoever has to clean up this place. Yeah. Luckily, it's not us, and luckily, we have to pay for that, so... If I said I, I meant... Uh, if I said us, I meant I have to pay for that. Hmm, I cannot wear that. Okay, I'll give you this... Um, ...of intellect. I'll give you this. Okay. But we managed with one <laughs> to spare to start that thing. Except I don't have any older um, 
sorry, I am thinking about something. I uh, I do not have any other alternatives as of now. Let's go to the copper lane. Yes. Okay. Wait, what? Got full account? Hmm. Gaffle the drunkard returned to their fault to much hostility, but was able to defuse the situation. Thanks to your help, he was able to pay off his debts. Yeah, well, lucky for him. I managed to gain even more money in the process. There's still some things I want to visit. We have the marketplace, we have uh, we have the whole of revealed mysteries, we have the Scraven's dormitory, of course the expedition hall. I want to visit all those places now that we have they. Another ship lost! Oh my. Honestly, I won't be trading all of those merchants. Uh, messages, because there's no reason for me to do so. Um, <laughs> I took for my stuff. I think we have plenty of those. It's a shame that I cannot choose everything. And for that I can buy one thing! Yay! Okay, you are doing in traps. You? Greetings. Mm -hmm. The young woman stands by a cart, watching the crowd with large bright eyes that focus on you as you approach. Take your time, traveler. If you're looking for enchanted scrolls or garb, you've come to the right place. Are you selling a dagger made of marked steel? She stands on the tips of her toes and points to a stool between the stairs. You must be looking for Ikran. See that tall Omao over there? She, he sells weapon right? Anything else I can do for you? Show me your words. Okay, let's see. Seal of faith. What is that? Costs a lot. This thick iron band is dented and scratched and appears to have seen much use. It is studded with 11 small beads, one of, for each of the gods. It was created by an Erdurian priest to remind him of his devotion, particularly in the heat of battle. It is said that, feeling his fingers rub against the beads, he will say a quick prayer to each of the gods who bless him in return. Plus what? First level of spell uses, plus one second. Ooh, that would be useful, I will take it. Mm. This last one also, but we don't have enough. Okay. And be grateful that I got this ring for you. Well. It's not useful by wizard, then by who? By you? Oh. Fuck. <laughs> Alright, because I have to reload the save. Hmm. Oh, well. This is the one. This is the other one. Thank you. You can sell those. Uh, rabbit for gloves of crit multiplayer. All right, because that's so nice of her. She left us her stuff. Ikron here. Good day, stranger. Ikron stands behind a soul, polishing a broadsword. The patterned flesh around his eyes is crinkled with age, and the muscles in his arms are not the end lean, but he holds the weapon with ease. He nods at you. Come to take a look. You won't find a finer collection of armor and weaponry in the Fine's Bay. Outside Sony Olds, of course. He flashes a crook to Crane. I'm looking for a particular dagger made of March steel. 
Just like the Crucible Knights use. <laughs> Let me guess, you've been talking to that kid, right? <laughs> I'll be tempted to sell it to you anyway and let the little rascal learn his lesson. But the pack of adventurers already took it off my hands. Tell me more about this dagger. He owns the cloth in the sand. Made out of a high purity iron ore that comes out of the White March Mountains. Traditionally, the smiths at the Crucible Keep have smelted it into daggers and swords, which they only give to the Knights of the Crucible. Of course, I would be surprised if the Keep didn't already tell you all of this. Hmm. If March Steel daggers only given to Crucible Knights, how did you get your hands on one? Ikrim poses mid Polish, his cloth slowing over the blade. A lot of steel passes through my hands, friend. I don't make it my business to ask where it all comes from. Fair enough, I don't need to pry. Anything in particular you'd like to see? What's so special about Sunhild? She operates in the expedition hall. He tracks a thumb over his shoulder, sells the best equipment in the city, but Wynnum keeps her on her short leash. Keeps her fine inventory reserved for chartered expeditionists, members of the dozens, and anyone else he takes a liking to. Hmm. Those adventurers you sold the dagger to. Where are they now? Folk like that only visit Copper Lane to crew up at Admet's Den Expedition Hall or down a paint at the Goose and Fox. And since they weren't headed into the den, well, You've got my best guess. Okay, but let's see what you have for sale. The lady's hand. Scepter. Don't you use scepters? Rot you. Mm. Probably most probably because I gave you one. Not it. Wrong button. I will also set the strap. Hmm. Okay, thank you. So let's visit the fox and goose. Is one turn a week or a day, full day? Huh. I don't know. Maybe it's not ours. No. No. Hail mm. traveler. Do you know anything about the March Steel Dagger? Crazy his eyebrows. Haven't seen anything like that across my bar. That's for sure. He thumbs the smooth food kind of top. But I wouldn't wager against someone here having a blade like that. Check upstairs. I saw a group head that way not long ago, carrying plenty of steel. Thank you. Keep you. An old man relaxes with his feet propped on the table. Patches of dark brown skin peek out from under a full mane of blue green hair. He and the Orland woman with him exchange laughs and comments with the trio at the nearby table, and he spins a dagger in his hand. His little eyes watch you. You look like you've seen an age or two in the wild, joining us for a drink. Who are you? The name's Tutono Weeks. The lady next to me is Ki. We've had our fun with the expeditions, but we were hoping to enjoy a little peace and quiet. For the next few weeks, anyway. A man at the next table knows at you. I'm Dreadshot Dedon, and this is Hurdy and Ilfa. We were part of separate expedition teams, but we both suffered losses and decided to band together. He takes several items off his fingers. Beasts, barbarians, Bayavax. It's a dangerous time to be an adventurer, but a prosperous one too. <laughs> and here's to many more prosperous journeys. Is there something else you wanted? Uh, did you buy a March Seal dagger from Ingrun? He just placed the blade on a flat palm. I did. And a fine piece it is. I don't know of any more circulating in the city. Outside the seal in the Crucible Keep, of course. 
How much take it off your hands? He turns the blade in the light, admiring it. Seeing as how there is sudden demand for this, 100 fans seems fair. Hmm. Dema demand isn't as high as you think. Chances are good that Tagia was stolen or looted off one of the knights. In that case, I'm probably doing you a favor. He frowns. Can't be too careful on the authorities these days, especially as an Orlan. Fine, I'll sell it, but not for less than 50. I'm getting my money back at the very least. Deal. He hands you the dagger, held first. Pleasure doing business with you. Did you really mean for it to be that easy? I'm back, sorry about that. There's, a, there's been a lot happening lately. Mm. Ooh, that's actually something you can take. Uh, scene. Leia watches Bernard a Prophavia's tree looking for a human form. Oh, it's a play! Yeah. The pages of these old books are crisp and fragrant with the salt of a sea breeze. It's intriguing I because suppose it can't be helped. There you go. Because it doesn't. It didn't show me that I'm seeing anything, so I am assuming we are not stealing. Okay. Okay, we have the dagger. So we could go to back to the kid. Mm, is there anything else? Okay, let's deal with the case so we are done with this. Brother, did you and he get along? We got along how brothers do. He used to throw water on me to wake me up in the morning. I used to fill his boots with stinging ants. My own brothers and sisters are doing very well for themselves back in Tokoa. I don't know that they'd search for me if I were killed so far from home. Brothers can be funny. I bet you'd be surprised how far they'd go. Yeah, you either love your siblings or you hate them enough to try to kill them. Gordy bounces on the pavement. Did you get it? Do you have the dagger? Can I have it? I have the dagger right here. Gordy stops bouncing and starts as a gaping door. It's so sharp! A deal is a deal. Hugo. He snatches it out of the air, heedless of anything else. He yanks it out of its sheath and holds the blade up to the light. I'm going to be just like the Crucible Knight! He sawls and chops at the air. <sighs> he flips the weapon into the air and grabs at the hilt, almost slicing his palm open in the process. His eyes dart away from yours as he sheaths the dagger. So, about a secret. <clears throat> Gordy puts his hands up to his mouth and whispers loudly, and so one of the actors hid something under a loose stone near the theater. There will be nothing as good as a March Steel dagger, though. Thank you for telling me, Gordy. Bye! Here, you say. Hmm, the day is on. Maybe they won't be... Oh, actually, this is more probable that they would be... Practicing now. If. And I instantly forgot if he was talking about stone or floorboards. That's why I'm looking around with this. I don't see anything. Honestly, I don't see anything. Party. The statue woman has a gaze that could cut stone. She turns her chiseled cheekbones to the sky in a favorite silver look of acknowledgement. Her eyes shimmer under silvered eyeshadow and a razor pure precise line of coal. Before you can speak, she throws her hand up in a dramatic fashion. Welcome. Autographs after the performance, please. 
Great art requires great concentration, and greatness is expected from the revolt of stars. What is revolt of stars? We are the finest theater troupe in the city. We believe that the best art is immersive and true to life. She looks at the amphitheater with a rapturous expression. We stage our performances right here in the copper lane for the edification of all. I suppose I can spare a moment for a fan. What do you do? That depends entirely on the demands of the room. She lays a slender hand on her chest. I am Pallid Knight, the Widow of the Wood, and the Warrior Queen Mokga, all the, at different times. To live a different life each day is a glorious thing indeed, my friend. Does the Rave of Stars take in many members? But of course, good drama is a balm to the soul, and we wish to offer a true theatrical experience to as many as possible. What kind of members do you take? We'll take in the new and old, the tall and small, the experienced and ex inexperienced, whoever is best suited to fulfill a role to the utmost. How long do you keep members? As long as they are able to satisfy the demands of the roles. <laughs> she smooths away a wood strand of hair. True acting can be a grueling process, so some last longer than others. Okay, does anything else? No. Um. Actor, actor, understudy, understudy, out. I have no idea where is that. Okay, maybe we'll find something during the night, but I'm fairly sure they were there. Then, as well. Hmm. Well, but for now, I think we'll end this part here. So, for now, thank you very much. We'll go here. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.